In today's video, I'm going to tell you the benefits of using a floor to ceiling ball. I'm going to show you how to get started, and then I'm going to show you some advanced drills you can move on to. And it is all coming up. Kick for my wins. I need my hands. This life is real. If they pretend, it must have been. I get it in. Guys, I'm Dave and welcome to Wimborne Boxing Club's channel. Today, we're going to look at the floor to ceiling ball, otherwise known as the double end bag. So we're going to go through the benefits of why we use one. We're going to show you how to get started and then we're going to show you some advanced drills as well. If you like the sound of that, hit subscribe button, hit the bell next to it and you will get notified every time we post a video. Right then, on to the tutorial. So why do we use the double end bag? Well, it offers a lot of more movement, which means it's a lot more realistic to a moving target, a moving head. It is good for eye, hand and foot coordination, because everything's got to work as one to make sure we strike the bag. And it does offer a little bit of endurance. Okay, just before we go any further, if you haven't got a floor to ceiling ball, then check the description box below. There is a link to one that I recommend. So the very first thing, I've mentioned it a few times, is to work on timing. So all I'm gonna do is in a adopt my boxing stance, I'm just gonna work my jab. I'm just gonna just tap it and just get used to how it moves. All right, so just tapping the jab. You see, I'm not throwing it hard. Um, I'm just waiting for the ball to come straight back. Then I'm gonna strike it again. Different timing, so I've been sort of delaying it a little bit. But if I start to get the hang of it, I can then maybe speed up my timings. Now I'm gonna bring in two shots together, left and right in my case. So I'm just gonna be working on throwing my one twos. Just getting the timing of the bag. You may find the footwork as well is a bit too much to start with, that's fine. Um, just do it on the spot. But just working your one, two. And it's good technique, your hands are coming back to the chin. All right, now you can start doubling it up on one side. So you might work your double jab. All right, you might work your double backhand. Yeah, so just doubling up on one side. That's the next progression. And then just putting all that together, just doubling them up. Just moving it about, mixing it up. Moving around the target, up you go single shots. Moving around. Once you've got your straight shots sorted, you can go one or two ways. Now you can start practicing defenses or you can bring in extra shots. We are gonna start bringing in defenses. So we're gonna do a few different defenses. So the first one is a head defense. We're gonna do a slip. So I'm gonna jab, slip, backhand. It's, I'm not gonna teach you how to slip. There are plenty of other videos that will teach you how to slip, but working on your head movement. Jab, slip, backhand. Jab, slip, backhand. Jab, slip, backhand. I can do it off two punches. One, two, slip, two. One, two, slip, two. All right, so I can work my head movement. I can work <coughs> the step back. So I can go jab, step back, backhand. Jab, step back, backhand. Yeah, so now I'm working foot defense. One, two, step. One, two, step. One, two, step. All right, I can even work blocks. I can use my rear hand as a parry. Go down, parry, jab. All right, let's move around a little bit more then. Down, parry, jab. Down, parry, jab. Down, parry, jab. Yeah, I can even work uh, single arm blocks. And then I always come back with something. Block, all right. You'll notice if I'm using my hand defense, I don't move my feet. I, I block and I just punch straight back. All right, so have a play with defenses. And then start bringing in all your other shots. I'd go hooks first, all right? The thing is when you start throwing hooks, it's obviously gonna go side to side. So like I say, now you can control it by moving the feet, gonna go straight again, or you can bring in the opposite shot. What I mean to that is I go one, two, left hook, I can then bring in that right hook, I can control it again. So I'm afraid of right hook, control of the left hook, back to my straight shots. And again, get it going, maybe move the feet. All right, so you've got the hooks. Boom, oh, you've got your uppercuts. All right, so we can throw our uppercuts, can't we? All right. The idea with the uppercut is to not try and take it clean off of the anchor. All right, so a little tap in, tap. So I'm doubling them up on one side, jab, uppercut, backhand. Boom, I can go backhand straight, backhand, uppercut. Really play with the shots. That's all my shots now. All right, I've got the timing. I'm not expecting you to do all of this in one sitting, all right? So mix up um, what you're doing each time you come back to the ball, and, and it is gonna take a while to get a hang of it, so don't, don't panic, all right? So now you can mix it all up. So it's a lot to think about now. In fact, let's just do all the shots first. So I'm gonna be moving around, I can be throwing. If 
on how to split. Okay, uh, now I can have the defences. Remember in a second we're going to show you uh, some more advanced stuff. So now I put all the shots in under the defences. Real good player there. It's quite a workout. I'm getting a bit of sweat over it. So there, the basics and how you build up to more advanced. Then you go even more advanced. Start working a little bit of footwork in terms of angles. So I could go one, two, step across. There's my shot. All right, let's do it from this way. I can go step. There's my shot. And again, step. There's my shot. All right. I could go with a check hook. So I'm. Moving it, there it is, now I change the angle, and there we go. All right, that's my check hook. I could go the, the jab, slip, and pivot. And then I go again, and I start moving the head. See how I got a reactor after I punched, real important. Um, can't do any more on top of my head, but, oh, you've got the curves. So I could go here, and then work these shots. I could go the other way, but then work in here. All right, so I can work angles. So that's the more advanced stuff. And when you start putting it all together, you're not always going to hit it. You're not always going to hit it, but that's good. Because it works on your attraction speed, bringing the hands back to your chin. That, guys, is the double end bag. From setting it up, through to the basics, through to more advanced, through to advanced. That's all I've got for you. If you've got any questions, comment below and I'll try and answer them. Check out that link if you haven't got your own ball. Otherwise, just get on your bag and start having a go at it. And um, like I say, leave me any questions in the comment box. Hope this has been useful. As always, I've got other videos for you. So check this one out first before we go anywhere. And in fact, before you even leave the channel, hit us up, subscribe, click the bell, and you'll get even more of these great videos and notifications on when they're posted. Thanks very much. Look forward to speaking to you soon.